Greetings YouTube, this is Venomous World here and I got a battle against Audino Glitch. So he's leading off with this heavy, I have my Wrecking Ball out here. Wrecking Ball gets paralyzed due to Thunder Wave, but it's like whatever, and just goes straight for the Gyro Ball. This Ferrothorn is an offensive one, that's why it's called Wrecking Ball. Um, it's a special set called a Choice Band set. It's equipped with a Choice Band, duh. And has a brave nature with max attack EVs, max HP EVs, and the remaining EVs put into uh, special defense, I think. So yeah, it's a force to be reckoned with. You really, really don't want to get on its bad side. So Dragonite has a substitute up. I go for the Gyro Ball. That takes out his sub. So Adina Glitch decides he's tired of playing this game and switches into... Medic, which is a Scrafty. Gyro Ball takes down a huge chunk of Scrafty's health. I switch out of there predicting some sort of fighting type attack, which does happen in the form of Drain Punch. Scrafty gets burned, but then gets healed thanks to Shed Skin, so it's basically like nothing ever really happened in the first place. Flame Potty's lulzy when it works. So he switches out into Amber Palm. I go for the Bug Buzz, that takes out most of his health. I predict the fake out coming, so I switch out into Wrecking Ball and let Iron Barbs do it, do their job. So Iron Barbs takes out Ambipom. He switches into his own Volcarona. I back out of there and go into Big Buck. He goes for the Quiver Dance. Now he didn't really know that Azumarill is the number one Volcarona counter, so. He pretty much stayed in and went straight, and I went straight for the Aqua Jet. Now he's got Cloyster out here, and I'm like, oh crap. Back, and I need to back out of there. Because Azumarill's Choice Bandit, and I don't want to be locked into Aqua Jet. He goes for the Shell Smash, boosts his attack, special attack, and speed. Restores the stats lost with White Herb, and then goes for Icicle Spear which will kill my Raikou. So I have the Tigers out of the game. I switch into Wrecking Ball thinking that Wrecking Ball can take any of Cloyster's attacks, but that turns out not to be the case as Icicle Spear will whittle down its health and kill it. So yeah, Wrecking Ball is out of the game. I decide to send in Big Buck and hit it with Super Power. But what was really special about Big Buck was that he actually lives this attack. I'm just kind of surprised. I didn't imagine Azumarill as an incredibly bulky Pokemon. But apparently so. I go for the superpower. That takes him down. So bye bye Cloyster. So much for that sweep. He then sends out his Engineer, which is a Hitmontop. He has Team Fortress 2 names kind of funny. He goes for the Sucker Punch, it fails. So yeah, he goes for the Sucker Punch again as I decide to attack this turn. I go for the Skull, hoping to burn him. And it does burn him! Fucking awesome! So yeah, I think he pretty much put him on top on the team at my suggestion because, um... He said he wanted a Rapid Spinner, and I picked four. Tentacruel, Starmie, Donphan, and Hitmontop. So, he chose to go for Hitmontop, I suppose. Alright, and one last Scald takes care of Engineer. He sends in his Heavy. I've yet to meet one heavy that can outsmart Ice Beam. He goes for Roost, recovers. I go for Ice Beam again, does not do that much. Because he loses his flying type when he roosts. I go for Ice Beam again does a lot more this time because he has his flying type back. He goes for the dragon tail and I, he gets phased out into Big Buck.
goes for the Thunder Wave, Big Buck gets paralyzed. I go for the... Oh, no. I try to go for the Ice Punch, but, um... Unfortunately, he gets parahaxed. So, balls. Balls. I go for the Ice Punch. That takes care of Heavy. So Zoomerill is really kicking ass and taking names here. He goes for Rest. I'm not really sure why he went for Rest. Probably hoping to recover his health and have Shed Skin take care of Sleep. I decided to switch out Big Buck and send in Bad Touch because he hasn't really seen any action in this game. And you know how grumpy Bad Touch gets when he hasn't um, seen any action. He goes for Outrage. Bad Touch does, not me. So I've got a grumpy ass Bad Touch here. He goes for Outrage. Bad Touch goes for Outrage. And... Scrafty gets defeated, and the game is over. So good job, Audino Glitch. You played pretty well. See you next time, guys.